Hi, I'm Karen Hurt. I'm here with our next edition of Asking for a Friend from the Road at the Maryland Museum of History and Culture at the Jim Henson exhibit. And I'm here with Kermit the Frog. I've got a question to ask uh, for a friend. You know, ever since we moved to a work from anywhere environment, I haven't really been able to, I don't know, find the rainbow connection with some of my uh, my Muppet friends. What would you suggest? It's always been my dream to actually meet you. So thank you so much for your excellent question. I have a, a couple of things. First, I think one of the most important things you need to remember is connection, especially rainbow connections, is really about one person at a time. You build a team one person at a time, whether you're virtual or whether you are in person. How are you connecting as human beings, really spending the time to invest to build those relationships? And the other thing is that I have been talking to some of your friends who have been sharing some incredible best practices. So I want to take you through a few of those as well. So here's the thing. One of the things your team needs is a little bit of mayhem. So one idea would be start your Zoom meeting, go dark, and then invite everyone to come in. It's time to start the music. It's time to light the lights, bring people one in one by one with their favorite hat or prop. You know what Beaker's doing to really bring his team in and create those rainbow connections? He is bringing people together and giving them an opportunity to experiment, to try new approaches, to share their ideas. Such an important way to foster rainbow connections. Okay, Miss Piggy and Fozzie both have some really great ideas. Piggy is starting her one-on-ones, asking people for their diva moments of the week to brag about something spectacular that they did. And then Fozzie is hosting Fozzie Feelings Forums. And people can just come, he creates a safe place, they talk about what's really going on with them, and then he invites everybody to respond with a Waka waka, or a waka waka, depending on what their feeling was. One of the most important things you can do is teach your team some skills to, to work through conflict, to set clear expectation, to foster that connection, to have the powerful phrases they need to be effective. Well, Karen, thanks so much for all of your advice and for talking to my friends. I hope that all of you out there, the lovers, the dreamers, the road and road workers, and you can uh, help find some rainbow connections in your remote work.